Hey guys, what's up? It's Lex, and today I'm going to be doing a Q&A video. You guys don't really follow me on Twitter, where I often post about future videos asking for questions, so you should follow me at awkward underscore Lex. So I asked my friends to send me some Q&A questions. So let's, let's start with favorites. What is your favorite color? Okay, this should be like an easy question to answer, like just say like blue, or like pink, or like but I have more than one favorite color. I like gray, but like it has to be like a light gray. But then I also like black, um, and I like uh, like a navy blue. Um, I also like like the burgundy color. That's that's a nice color as well. Mm, favorite smell. That's a strange question. I don't know. You know when you go to like an amusement park and they have a water ride and you know how like that specific water ride smell? I really like that smell for some reason. Probably because I love water rides like like the log ride or like like at California Adventure how they had the Grizzly River Rapids. That's like my favorite ride. Ever. Favorite holiday or season? I don't really have a favorite holiday. Maybe Thanksgiving because you know, it's the holiday of like giving and being thankful and that's not really like an everyday thing that people do. Um, so I like that and also the food as well for Thanksgiving. Like my mom makes the best turkey and gravy. It's amazing. And then I also really like Christmas because I get presents. Favorite season? Probably fall because it's colder so I can wear like sweaters I really like wearing sweaters um, plus like it's still like kind of sunny out so it's like a mix of like cold and warm it's like together I don't know I don't know how to explain it but yeah plus all the best seasons are in fall like you got Halloween you got Thanksgiving I know Christmas isn't in fall but it's like right after fall so it's kind of like I don't know I also like winter though because my birthday and Christmas and sweaters, Christmas sweaters. Favorite song? What is my favorite song? There's so many good songs. I know one of my favorite songs is Unbreakable by Jamie Scott. I've just loved that song ever since I first heard it when I went to a 5 Seconds of Summer concert and Jamie Scott was opening. So that one. Oh, and the song I See Fire by Ed Sheeran. I love that song so much. Like, I haven't seen The Hobbit, but um, I brought the song up to my friend, how it was my favorite song, and she was like, The Hobbit song? And I was like, Yeah, that song. Sure. I had no idea it was in The Hobbit. I just knew that it was on the soundtrack, because whenever it plays on Pandora, then it has the picture of the soundtrack. Anyway, favorite foods? I love fried chicken. That's my top favorite food. I also love the um, the house chicken from Pickup Sticks. Uh, oxtail is really good. Favorite movies? Oh, this is a hard one. Baby Driver definitely is one of my all-time favorite movies ever since I saw it. Like, yes. And also the Carmilla movie. I just saw it last night. It's like the best movie I've ever seen. I mean. Like, anyone who hasn't watched the YouTube series Carmilla needs to watch it and then watch the movie because the movie is, like, perfect. It's, um, it's funny, it's a little bit scary, it's, um, uh, it's gay, there's, like, it's, like, suspenseful, um, it's, it has, like, romantic parts and it's just, like, I just love it. It's like the best movie ever. What else? Uh, favorite TV shows. Uh, I have a lot of favorite TV shows. I have a lot. So, Winona Earp, uh, Vampire Diaries, uh, Supernatural, Doctor Who, Orphan Black. Like a lot of these I'm like not even caught up on. I'm like, I'm so horrible. Uh, Grey's Anatomy, I'm on season 7. Uh, Stranger Things, obviously. Uh, Ghost Adventures, I like that show. Orange is the New Black, I love that show. 
I don't even have my phone to look at all the shows because I'm like using it. Uh, the Walking Dead, Fear the Walking Dead, The 100, though I stopped watching after season 3. Anyone who has watched The 100 knows why I stopped watching after season 3. Um, there's so, there's so many. Supergirl, I'm behind on that one too. I watched Supergirl though. The Flash, Arrow, I'm so behind on those two. Like The Flash and Arrow, I'm like two, three, maybe four seasons behind. I, I think I'm on like season two or three of Flash. Same with Arrow though. I'm like, I'm on season three? No, maybe season four of Arrow. Yeah, I'm on season four of Arrow, so I'm behind. DC's Legends of Tomorrow, I'm behind on that one too. <laughs> Nashville. I started watching that one a few months ago and then stopped. So I'm behind. There's just so many. So I'm pretty sure I forgot to mention a lot of them. Riverdale. But I'm behind on that one too. I haven't even finished season one yet. I can't think of any others, but I'm sure I forgot a lot of them. Oh, I Zombie. I am behind on that too. Now for the good questions. What has been an experience you've never wanted to forget? There's been more than one, like the Supernatural convention. Oh my God, I got a photo with Misha and a photo with Mark Shepard and it's just like, I never want to forget it, ever. I met them in person. Like, it's, it's just so cool, it's so cool. Never gonna forget it. Um, also the One Direction concert that I went to, Niall's birthday for the Midnight Memories tour, never gonna forget that either because that's like <laughs> they're not one direction anymore so um and then five seconds of summer i think i've seen them three times now it was for their um sounds good feels good uh release um in hollywood and i went i saw them at the one direction concert i saw them uh in concert in, I think 2015 and then again I saw them in concert last year so oh so I've seen them four times well I love them I love five seconds of summer where have you wanted to go I wanted to go to many places but it depends on like the context like if it's where do I want to go to visit I want to go to Virginia to see one of my best friends Ever. I want to go to Florida to see another one of my best friends. Um, I want to go to Georgia because one of my other best friends goes to college out there and I want to visit them because um, they're like, oh yeah, all these places are really haunted, like it's really cool. And I like, I love haunted stuff. I mean, come on, one of my favorite shows is Ghost Adventures. Of course, I love haunted stuff. So I, I really want to go there. Um, I want to go, I want to go to Washington because I love Washington. I've been there multiple times and I'm in love. Like, I wanna go back. Uh, I went there in July of this year, but I didn't wanna leave. <laughs> Can I just go back <laughs> and just live there forever? Um, and then I also wanna go to Switzerland because I had a dream once that I was in this town and it was like, it was nighttime. So the lights were on in the town. And, like a lot of the buildings looked kind of like wood but um and then there was like this road that goes like up towards this like mountain that was like snowy because it was like winter time i guess in my dream and uh a few months later i was on facebook and i come across this video and i'm like whoa like um why is my dream basically in this video like it wasn't my actual dream but it was like the same place and it said it was grindelwald switzerland so um, yeah, I'm gonna go there. I love the Wales and Australian accents, so I definitely want to go to those two places solely for the accents. No, I'm kidding. Um, they're probably really cool places. How many phones have you had? Um, let's see. I had a phone in fifth grade that was just like a little, a little tiny prepaid thing. And I had a, another phone, so that's one. And then I had another phone in middle school. I don't know if it was like. I think it was like sixth grade to seventh or eighth grade. It was like a bigger prepaid touchscreen, whatever. Um, so that's two. And then I got the iPhone 3GS. Uh, and then after that, I think I got the iPhone 4S. And then after that, I got the iPhone 6. I don't know if it was a 6 or 6S. I think it was just a 6. And then now I have the iPhone 7 or 
7s. I think it's just a 7. So that's 6 phones. So I've had 6 phones. What is the best memory you have? Best memory. Honestly, I have no idea what the best memory is that I have. Um, probably when I met Misha. It's not a very long memory, but I love him. <laughs> so... Probably also when I went to the Five Seconds of Summer concert and uh, they played Wrapped Around Your Finger and then um, before that song came on, Michael was just by himself on the stage and there was this blue light on him. He just had like this solo of like saying like, oh, and then the audience would go, oh. I sing And like it would just like keep going like whatever he did then we did and it was like <sighs> wow amazing like if you can't tell I'm in love with Michael Clifford like I'd go straight for him. What is the worst memory you have? That's a tough question to answer. I can't really think of much, really. I don't know. Possibly when my great grandma died. What are your dreams? I have no idea. <laughs> my dream right now is to, my dream is to get an apartment, my own apartment, with a dog, preferably a, an English bulldog, but we shall see what happens. Maybe a pit bull, because I love them both so much. Perhaps to go to college, like um, I applied to this one college that I'm hoping to get into. And then um, I want to go to graduate school, become a doctor maybe. And then, you know, like the generic stuff, like fall in love, possibly get married. And like, I mean, I'm not really all that interested in like kids, but I mean, if my wife wants kids, then fine, she can have kids. I mean, whatever, it's up to her. And then just live a happy life. But yeah, I just want to live a happy life. I mean, you know, drama free is the ideal life for me. But it would also be cool if I became a YouTuber. I mean, I post on YouTube, but that doesn't necessarily make you a YouTuber, does it? How many siblings do you have? I have one, two, three. Yeah, it's bad. I still have to count. One, two, three, four five six i have six siblings if you count my older sister because she was adopted and my dad didn't know about her until she was three so i didn't really know about her till i was 16. she's older than me though she was like three years older than me anyway yeah so six i'm the oldest out of all the siblings that i grew up with except for my older sister because i didn't grow up with her so yeah if you could have any superpower what would it be and why probably the superpower of teleportation because then I wouldn't have to worry about not having a car, not having gas, not having a license, uh, paying for a plane ticket, a train ticket. I could just go wherever I want, whenever I please. What is a book that really made an impact on you in the past and how has it affected you and your life? Well, let me think. I have no idea. <laughs> I read so many books, but they're all like fictional. <laughs> So, I mean, and they're all like, not really like, um, inspirational, I guess. I think maybe the one I'm reading now for school, I'm reading The Great Gatsby. I'm only on chapter two, but it seems to like really be a good book. <laughs> like I just finished chapter two for my homework that I had to do for class. And it's, um, it's made me really think about things. Usually for if it's for class, I don't care to read it. I'm not like, oh, I want to read it. I want to read it. But for this book, I'm like, oh, I want to read it, which is ironic because I don't have it. I've been listening to it on YouTube because I don't have it. So I've just been listening to the audiobook. But anyway, it's um it's really good and it really um affected my way of thinking. I don't exactly know how, but I've been thinking. <laughs> differently <laughs> another book uh probably siddhartha i also had to read that for class i had to read siddhartha 
and it really really made me think of like how the world is like connected and like everything in the universe and um so I think that one had an impact on me as well so shout out to my professor for picking those two books because they're like the only books I can think of that have had an impact on me are you single or taken I am single kidding I'm not kidding that I'm single I'm kidding about that part. okay ideal first date uh, I don't know maybe drive-in movie dinner in a movie I don't know plus a trip to Barnes and Noble never hurt anybody um, going to the like the pet store or the animal shelter to play with animals that's like my favorite thing ever so maybe like just like a whole day just like go watch a movie and then go eat and then to the animal shelter I don't know how many girlfriends or boyfriends have you had I have had one of each do you know any different languages if so how well I know very little Spanish which is very bad because I am of Spanish and Mexican descent so I should know more Spanish than I do but I don't I know American Sign Language but not a lot I've been teaching myself as you probably saw in my video of my dog Elvis what would you name your kids if you have any um okay so Zoe Zoe has been my favorite name ever since I was a kid I used to have this little stuffed cheetah um, from, that I got from I think the San Diego Zoo and I named her Zoe and I would take her everywhere with me like to my friend's house and everything she was my favorite I have no idea what happened to her and I'm so upset about it Zoe and Alden are the only gender specific names that I have on like that I want to name kids if I ever have any and then there's Cameron Quinn and Dylan Cam for short and Dill for short and that can be for any um, gender and that's great because if they end up being transgender then they don't have to change their name if they don't like feel like it or if they do feel like it then they can whatever fave youtubers i am in love with amy ordman and joanna simon i also like like ally hills uh shannon beverage uh megan curry miles chronicles there's so many there's so many uh jack dodge Sophia Rojas, Stevie Bowie, I love her. I don't know if I'm saying her last name right, and if I'm not, I'm sorry. I think that's it, mm -hmm. okay. Favorite book, Carmilla, I really like that one. The Infinite Sea, which is the second book in the Fifth Wave series. Favorite drink, I really like sweet tea and uh, Shirley Temples, I love Shirley Temples, but also Dr. Pepper, you know, repping my favorite drink. My first best friend, ooh. So I had a lot of best friends before my real best friend, best friend. So like, I had Noah, Christian, Haley, and then I had Tori and Jessica. But my first real best friend, best friend was Megan. She lived right across from me. She went to the same school as me. We became best friends in, yeah, I think it was first grade. Our classrooms were like right next to each other and we hung out with like the same group and we became best friends. Um, but we weren't in the same class and we were best friends from first grade all the way until I moved in sixth grade. How tall am I? I am 5'3 and I forget if it's a quarter or three quarters. I don't remember, but I'm slightly taller than 5'3. Do you have any pets? I do. I have a gerbil named Gizmo who is my child even though he hates me, but what can you expect from a child of yours? And then I also have four dogs, four pit bulls. Um, Maddie, I believe, is the oldest, um, but I think he's mixed with something, like a pit bull mix. And then there's Bailey, and then she is the mother of Lucy and Sadie. They're all pit bulls, and I love them to death, and I miss them because they're at my house in Arizona, and I'm here at my mom's, and it's just like, my babies that's all the questions that I have to answer um if you guys want me to do another Q&A anytime soon if you have any questions that I did not answer in this video please tweet me at awkward underscore Lex and I will save those for a future Q&A video and I hope you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to me I hope you guys enjoyed your Halloween 
I was a vampire. Comment down below what you guys wore for Halloween. I'll see you guys next time. Love you guys. Bye!